talk trapeze. I like to call it trapezery because I think it sounds more important and also sort of like there are shenanigans involved, but I don't think the term has caught on yet in the uh, official circusing community. A couple of years ago, I bought a Groupon for trapeze lessons. When I told my mother what I was doing, she muttered the words midlife crisis under her breath. But please, acrobatics, performing, costumes, these are some of my favorite things. What could go wrong? That said, on the day of my first class, I may have been peeing my pants a little bit with nervousness. <laughs> you see, me and Heights, we have an uncomfortable relationship. When I get near the edge of any place high, I feel like I have to resist the urge to just throw myself into the abyss. My husband thinks I'm insane, but I feel like I'm not the only one who feels this way. But I firmly believe that anything really delicious in life begins with a combination of excitement and terror, so I went to class that day. And I held in my pee, and I was strapped into a um, safety harness that gave me both a muffin top and a muffin bottom. <laughs> learn the basics of trapeze. On the ground, they explained to us that we would stand with our, our toes at the edge of the platform, we would hold the safety wire in our left hand and the bar in our right, and we would lean our hips out and over the net. And when the instructor on the ground yelled HEP, which is circus speak for go, we would jump up and out while simultaneously, simultaneously grabbing the bar with our left hand. This all sounded fairly simple to me, but then he explained that we need, would need to silence our inner control freak and only follow commands of what to do and when while we were in the air. This was a little concerning to me as the bossy pants who lives inside me is pretty sure she knows everything and is super loud about it. I'm not really used to relinquishing control. But when it was my turn, I took a deep breath and I climbed the tiny swaying ladder and I stepped shakily onto the platform and clipped in and took my position. And when the instructor yelled, HEP, I stayed rooted to the platform. <laughs> I just couldn't get the idea out of my head that when I jumped and grabbed the bar, my arms wouldn't support my weight and would just rip off at the shoulders and leave nothing but bloody stumps hanging from the bar. <laughs> When I conveyed this fear to the instructor, and he said to me, I don't think that something like that is really actually physically possible, we tried again. This time, when he said, hep, I jumped. And my arms stayed attached to my body. I was flying. Flying is another circusing term. It's the verb form of trapeze, and it's completely appropriate. It turns out the worst part of the whole thing is climbing the stupid ladder and taking the initial leap. The rest is nothing but a fantastic reward for your bravery. My first few times up the ladder, I learned what's called a basic knee hang. This is where you put your knees over the bar and you reach back towards the catcher. After I'd mastered this, they put another guy on a, the trapeze swinging toward me to catch. This was genuine circus shit. We had to be completely in sync for it to work. And when it did, well, I may have mentally updated my resume to send to Cirque du Soleil. <laughs> I was proud of myself when I did my first catch, but I don't think I've ever been prouder of anything than my 33rd birthday when I invited all of my friends and family to come do a circus night with me, and I watched my husband Jason do his first catch. To see him up there, so far out of his comfort zone, <laughs> committing to the experience, and let's be honest, totally killing it? Well, I have to say, just to even this day, it makes me a little bit hot. <laughs> almost indescribably sexy about a man who's brave and secure in his masculinity enough to swing through the air from his knees into the arms of another man. <laughs> Since my first time at Trapeze, I've been back a bunch of times and I've learned a bunch of tricks with weird names like Hawk's Off and Bird's Nest. My favorite is something called just a split where you basically do the splits upside down in the air before letting go and reaching for the catcher. When I'm having a terrible day for a million reasons, sometimes I pull up that video of me doing that and I see my pointed toes and my awesome upside down split and I feel like a goddamn superstar. <laughs> it's like a mild antidepressant in video form. What this all comes down to is four super important things I learned from trapeze. Number one, climbing the ladder and taking the initial leap are the scariest parts of anything. The rest is nothing but flying. Number two, sometimes letting go of your, telling your inner bossy pants to shut up is the only way to be successful. Number three, stepping outside of your comfort zone is almost always worth the risk, even if it's only because someone you love will probably find it incredibly sexy. And number four, if anyone in the audience just happens to be an agent for circusing types, I'm totally available and looking for work. So definitely call me. 